the man that we all hope Texas Rangers third baseman extraordinaire, Josh Young. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How y'all doing? We're doing good. Thank you for coming back again. You came up here at this time yesterday. We were having technical difficulties, and we appreciate you coming back. Which one of your teammates do you think would not have come back? <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm not throwing anybody under the bus, but that would be kind of funny. Now, Taylor Hearn. I'm going to say Taylor Hearn. Yeah, yeah, he's still mad I have an Android. Yeah, we've been getting into a debate with Taylor Hearn, among others. Do you have an iPhone or an Android? iPhone. Okay, well, I'm going to lose this <laughs> yeah, I one. think I'm, like, up for nothing right now, so this yeah, is great. Yeah, I have an Android. My wife doesn't like it. Apparently, Taylor Hearn doesn't like it either. I was reading a story from a couple of days ago. I'm hoping you can give us some more insight about your mental performance, Coach. Like, I know that's become much more the norm for people. What all does that entail, and how do you find a person that fits with you? <laughs> Man, that's kind of crazy. Uh, I've been working with Brian Kane since I was 11 years old. Wow. So it's been a long time. So I kind of fell in love with his stuff way back in the day. And it was just kind of part of my routine, going through high school, going through all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we developed a personal relationship my sophomore year of college. Um, so that's kind of, we just kind of gelled that way. He was just kind of all I knew, and that's just kind of what I've run with. Is it an everyday deal? Is it a once a week deal? Uh, communicating with him is just kind of on a need basis, but... Okay. Uh, my routine wise, it's every day. All right, so 2023 AL Rookie of the Year, Josh Young, joining us. <laughs> mm -hmm. right Although now. it sounds like he's motivated by the fact that you're sixth in the betting odds. Fifth, the last. Fifth. Okay, you know what? I say sixth. Okay. <laughs> so people really, people really don't believe in you. So, does, does, uh, hey, that's what works for me. Oh, does oh, that yeah. does oh, yeah. that motivate you? Like, I, I know everyone gets motivated by different things, but I always tell people, tell me I can't do something and I'll do it. Is that a motivating factor for you? Oh, definitely. It's fuel the fire See? for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, coming back from shoulder surgery last year, there's going to be kinks in the in the road, right? So, in the big league, struggled a little bit, but it was all just trying to feel out the shoulder again. I think I really only had two solid weeks last year, and they were both in AAA. Uh, the first two weeks I came back, and then after that, it was just like a grind, trying to figure out the shoulder deal, staying healthy, all that kind of stuff. I have one more question on the mental side. Then is how was that transition of physically they're like you can do it you can do it but mentally how do you cross that bridge of like okay i think i felt something weird or you know what i'm saying definitely you're always kind of thinking oh gosh is something gonna happen uh, for me luckily nothing really ever did uh, a little soreness but that was pretty much expected um, came back pretty fast but it was more of a mechanics thing i think for me i think i was overthinking it a little bit um Def or thinking about it too much, if that makes sense. Yeah. Going through my swing and just the daily progression of it all. I think uh, that's where I kind of locked myself up a little bit. How much this year is about Josh Young's health? Because that's <laughs> one of those of things. <laughs> it's like, like man, all if he it. can stay healthy to play, you know, 150 games or so, right. it would just be the best part of this year if Josh Young can play 150 games. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Uh, we're investing in some stuff to try to stay healthy, and that's the biggest thing. So for me this year, for sure. Last year, I got to take my son. He said, I have to go. When you got called up, my 13, he's now 14, he said, I have to go to this game. I have to see Josh Young playing his first game. And in your first at bat, you hit a home run. And, I mean, the crowd standing ovation. Your, your family is there behind first base. Talk about that moment. And I don't want to – like how – Three two pitch, right? And you, uh, Did you think, know it was – Or it was one two. One, one two? two, maybe. I knew you were behind in the count. Did you know – it was gone when you hit it, and just that feeling of first at bat in the major leagues is a home run. Okay, I'll kind of take you through the whole thing then. Right. So, get called up from AAA on a Wednesday. Thursday's an off day. Opening or my opening day, I guess it's Friday. Debut. Um, struggling, man. In AAA, I wasn't hitting the baseball at all. Just gotten it shoved up my butt by OKC the week before. <laughs> Sugarland was shoving it up my butt those first couple of days. So I was just like, man. And I'm getting called up to the big leagues. Uh, I think my last at bat in triple, I hit a double or something. So I was like, okay, little confidence here going up to the big leagues. But uh, get to the big leagues, you know, hear your name over the intercom for the first time, or I guess the PA system for the first time. Chuck Morgan. Um, as you're stretching out there in the outfield, and the fans cheered pretty loud. And I was like, oh, wow, that's super cool. Um, but then stepping up to the plate for the first time, it was just like, wow. Like, I'm here. Um, this is what I've always worked for, for moments like this, to just get here. Um so just getting in the box, I was like, okay, be aggressive. Just put it in play. That's all we're worried about today. Just put it in play. Uh, first pitch, foul ball. I think second pitch, foul ball. I was like, oh, gosh, here we go again. I've been in this situation way too much over the past month. Um, down 0-2. 
I think he wasted a pitch, and then he hung the changeup down the middle, and I hit it, and I was like, oh, too high. Because I hit it at like 40 degrees, which is too usually high. never really a homer. <laughs> um, but the roof was open, and they say the ball travels better with the roof open. And so it just kept going, and I'm running around first, watching it. Toppy gets to the wall. I was like, oh, no, that would just be anticlimactic, right? <laughs> Catches it on the wall, and then he does like a little jump, and it snuck out. And I was just like, wow, it's unbelievable. So cool, but just like, first off, I don't know how I hit it. <laughs> Second of all, just kind of blacked out going around the bases. Did you look up at your parents when you touched home plate? Or? I had no idea where they were. <laughs> okay. I, I know where they were. They were right next to me. Because I was yeah. at, we were at the game, too, uh, and my son was like, – it was his first time to see you, and he was just like – later on, we were standing next to your parents up on the mezzanine area, and I was listening to them talk to uh, one of the guys. He, they called him Coach. I don't know exactly who he was, but I was kind of listening in. And, uh, and my son was like, oh, he's back up to, he's back to the bat. I got to go watch him play right now. <laughs> so he's really excited to see you. And I think that's where the fan base is, is you're kind of this young face that's about to take on this organization as a, the young player. Or do you, do you feel that kind of at all? Or are you like, no, it's, it's different. Kind of embrace it or try to embrace it as much as I can. Um, growing up in Texas, then going to Texas Tech, staying in Texas for my pro career. It's just like kind of known around Texas now because I've been in Texas for so long. So it's pretty cool. Um, I love it. I embrace it. It's super, super fun to be a part of. You talked about some of your struggles at AAA. After you hit that home run in your first at bat, are you like, oh, my God, I'm going to kick Major so League easy. Baseball's ass. <laughs> this is so easy. This is the best. And those pitchers at AAA are way harder. <laughs> I mean, when I hit it, I was just like, thank you for leaving that right down the middle, and thank you for my barrel running into it. Because at that moment, there's, there's times where you just go through it, you're like, I don't know how I got my barrel there. It just kind of got there. It wasn't one of those flush feelings off the bat that you were just like, oh, got it. It was just like, oh, I hit it, and it's kind of going. It's carrying pretty well. Um, so we're trying to get back to that flush feeling where you kind of know it. In the future, Corey, he'll retell the story, and he'll mm -hmm. be like, oh, I knew I crushed it yeah. straight away. <laughs> yeah. I had it. Yeah, first pitch, yeah. Right. As every year goes on, it was like, oh, no <laughs> doubt, or triple decker. <laughs> the, the, uh, last year, as you came in, like the expectations of this team were very different. And now the Rangers said, hey, we're going to add some pitching to this thing, and we're going to add this, and the elements all seem to be coming together, and now you have a new manager. What's, what is the kind of difference from the end of the season to what y'all are feeling going into this one right now? I mean, towards the end of the year, we were out of the race. Um, so we were trying to play spoiler as much as we could. Okay. Because I mean, we played a ton of playoff teams down the stretch when I was up there. Um, so we were just trying to play some good baseball there at the end. Um, didn't really have a manager. Bees was taken over. Woody had gotten fired a couple months before. Um, but then just the trajectory from where we kind of ended the season to kind of where we're going is just like, wow, night and day, truly. You can just feel the energy in the clubhouse has really picked up. You know, we got some legit starters on the mound, uh, which is only going to help our depth because, I mean, we had good starters. Uh, but now that we got legit starters, those guys can help us out in the middle innings and it's just going to be fun to see how that kind of all comes together. But okay. then just from a hitting side, it's like we got kind of the same core coming back. Mm -hmm. We know we can hit the baseball. Now let's all kind of get that camaraderie, kind of have that nine-on-one mentality and just go play ball. I'm going to go back to last year for just a second. Were you on third base when Aaron Judge broke the record? Unfortunately. Oh. So what was that like? I, back? I can't imagine being on the other team when somebody hits a historic home run, but what was that like? <laughs> you uh, can. He As... definitely can. Hold on. <laughs> you gave up the Bonds he home run. the record-breaking Barry Bonds <laughs> home run where he surpassed Hank Aaron. So he can definitely imagine what that's like. Yeah, at least like. you were just on third base. <laughs> he threw the pitch. Uh, uh, but was it, was it in the – I mean, I know you don't want to start off the game losing, but to – get to be there in that moment where Aaron Judge, I know he didn't break the all-time right. record, but he did break the American League Roger Maris record. I mean, yeah, as a baseball fan, that's just a moment you can look back on and say, dude, I was right there. I was on, I was at third base when that happened. Um, but as a Ranger, you're just like, God, why are we throwing a breaking ball to this guy right here? <laughs> We've been pounding him with fastballs. He hadn't done a ton of damage yet. Let's just keep pounding him. We, I, we hung a breaking ball and he hits it out. And it's just like, ah. Dang it, we had a good plan, I felt like, going in. Well, I take um, you back. If you were in college and you had that seat in left field and you caught that ball, what would you have done with that ball? Truly, as a baseball fan, I'm giving it back to Aaron Judge. I'm like, dude, okay. this is would a once-in-a-lifetime thing. The outfield and, on the <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> that's what I said I would have yeah, done. Yeah. I was like, I'm such a Rangers fan. I don't. It's a Yankee? No, I'm throwing it back. No, I'm holding on to it. I'm meeting them. Might ask for an autograph or a bat or something, and I'm giving him that ball. I'm asking him for my kid's college tuition. <laughs> That's what, like, I appreciate everything that he did. I was like, 
bro, you're about to get paid so much money. I need to send my two kids to college. So, like, let's just make this transaction. Well, bro. you know, yeah. when uh, when when Josh breaks that record, that, that oh my gosh, well, that's on. so much pressure. If you catch the ball, would you? Uh, let's go ahead and get this agreement now. Okay. If Noah goes to Tech, would that be would that be a deal for you? Here's the deal. I have an 18 year old who's about to go to college, and I also have a six month old at home. He's so, very, yeah. if you break this record, I'm gonna need some sort of financing for at least the young. One. The okay. older one by that point, like we're probably about done. So I'm just gonna let you know. Don't be like, hey, you're just gonna give it to me. I'd be like, we talked about this. Yeah. We talked about this two or three years ago. I think that's a pretty fair trade. Okay, see, we we made some business happen. Especially right if here. they go to Texas Tech. Yeah, that makes okay. it even better. What if they go to Texas? Ooh, Ooh. no, Texas you can keep A&M. the ball. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I am a little curious. You talked about the pitching part of it, and does like does that get the offensive side pretty juiced too? No one like we got Degrom on the mound today. Does that change like the way y'all get energized for a game oh definitely um i think just our starting rotation we're energized but when you have guys out there that you know we're going to go keep it a close ball game it just gives you a little bit of extra i don't know if the word is momentum or just kind of camaraderie as a team like hey we're going to go we got a really good chance to win today yeah and i think just having that in the rotation when I mean, we got a couple guys like that it's just going to be cool to go out there every night and just perform well, I want you to just look around, turn right behind <laughs> you. I think that means that as much as we enjoy this conversation, it great, it's time to seed <laughs> it to the skipper. <laughs> thank you very much. We appreciate it. Yeah, and seriously, the Rangers fan base is very excited about seeing you, man. So we appreciate the time very yeah, much. Yeah, thank you all very much. Appreciate it. <laughs>